Hello everybody, what's up, what's up? It is me, Char Breezy Gaming, and I'm here today to introduce another sim. I know, I just keep them, I'm throwing them at you a lot. You have to keep up. And you're probably thinking, what? Is that a robot? And that's right, I am pretending to be a creepy neighbor looking into my sim's house. But that's what we do when we play sims. We are the creepy neighbor that's just watching into the windows. Um, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and pop inside. I'm going to introduce you to Ken Clark. Bam. He's like a sexy nerd. Um, Ken Clark, It's his name is kind of a play off of Clark Kent, you know, like Superman, you know, the DC comics. Haha. -ha. Um, yeah, so um, he's athletic, he's a workaholic, socially awkward. I thought that'd be kind of funny to have. Um, he's brave and he's a vehicle enthusiast, so he's gonna have some cool uh, vehicles that he likes and stuff, cool gadgets and stuff. Um, so we have a vehicle that he drives. He's got a Robo Bro, I like to call him. Uh, Robo Bro, that's what I call him. But I'll, I'll introduce Wilborg in a moment. He's, a, he's busy cleaning. Um, so his uh, Ken's skills. Actually, let's just go. So he's got a girlfriend, Trixie Jezebel, which we'll, I'll, I'll introduce her shortly. Um, she'll probably be joining the household sh soon. Soon, soon she'll be driving the household. Um, he's a in the law enforcement career. He has a lot of professional endeavors under his belt, which is pretty cool. Um, when I was playing with Trixie, his girlfriend, he went off and actually I lied no he it's his high school degree la, la, la. and he was in the um, investigator profession so he was a little investigator for a little bit he was a level five in that and then we switched careers because he wants to be a level five in four different careers which is pretty cool he's got a lot of skills he's pretty athletic he's a smart guy so he's got some logic bot building because he has built Wilborg uh oh. Oh, you talking to somebody? You chatting with someone? Alright, that's fine. Um, yeah, he's got a cool police cruiser vehicle. Um, and he he rides around in a jetpack. You know, cause he's like a superhero. You know, that's kind of thought I was kind of what I was going for. Um, he's got some cool lifetime rewards because I've been playing with him for a little bit now. Um, we don't have bills, so you know. We don't have to pay bills, which is pretty cool. 15,000 lifetime reward points for that. He's a multitasker, so his mm. profession kind of goes oh. up quicker without him having to try too hard. And he doesn't ever have to go to the bathroom, because I figured, why do that? <laughs> right? <laughs> um, yeah, so um, just this is the house. It's a pre-made Sims 3 house. I really just love the backyard. Um, definitely going to help for when the missus moves in because <laughs> she's gonna she likes to garden so that'll be pretty cool um yeah, this is the laboratory in which uh ken has made wilborg wilborg was born to here he was born this way um it's a cool little video i have of him being coming out into the world that sounds like really weird but it's not it was cool Alright. Oh, oh my god! Hi! Hi! Welcome. Welcome to the family! <laughs> Let's see, and so my guy Wilborg. I kind of wanted to name him something like, I don't know, cyber ish, but also kind of like, I don't know, kind of like a like a butler a little bit but he's also like his best friend kind of you know how Batman has something with an A crap I forget his name you someone somebody knows Alfie I think oh god anyway um but yeah so Wilborg helps around the house um he's an awesome quality right now so so he's pretty he is his needs don't go down too fast, which is pretty good. I love it. It's awesome, you would say. <laughs> um, he has some programmed qualities. So he's a steel chef. 
he cooks anytime Ken is hungry, just on command, which is pretty cool. And his cooking skill is at the maximum. Um, yeah. And he's also a handy bot, so my his handiness skill is increased to the maximum. He can twink, uh, <laughs> he can tinker on any object or upgrade any object um, or repair stuff on its own. He's a cleaner, so he loves to clean up any mess. He's just automatically on it, which is pretty cool. Um, and then he's also, oh, I skipped one. Um, he's an AI angler, so he's also a fisher. He likes to fish, which is super helpful to bring in money. Um, that's actually where we met our little guy right here, who is Willie. He's a little clownfish. That was super cute. Look at him. So cute. So this is, uh, yeah, this is the household. And that is that. So I would love to introduce Trixie next and then I'm going to get them to be married and I think maybe we'll do like a backyard wedding. I think that'd be super cute. Oh uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks for mm. watching this far and uh, let's switch oh. gears. Ooh. Here we have Miss Trixie Jezebel. She's a pretty fairy. She's got some potions that she's made. This is her bedroom. And yeah, so Tanish. Trixie is a fairy because I don't really mix it up that much. I have all these expansion packs and I'm like, I don't really use like Supernatural too much. So um, yeah, so we're going to have uh, Miss, F Miss Trixie Jezebel. Scratch my hand. Um, Trixie Jezebel, she's our lady friend. Um, it's super cute. They have been a couple for a little bit now. Um, for some reason, I didn't make them boyfriend and girlfriend, but who cares? You know, they're adults. They don't need to put labels on it. You know, they're adults. So, yeah, Miss Trixie is a artisan, uh, alchemy artisan. So she's been in the alchemy career. She makes potions. She has mastered the alchemy skill, which is pretty cool. Did that off screen because it's just, you know, skill building is not always the most exciting. But, um, yeah, so... She's also level nine in gardening, which is pretty cool because fairies have that, like a, I want to call it like a buff <laughs> where they are automatically good at gardening. So that, that's, that skill kind of builds fast. She's also artistic. Um, she did tune up Wilborg one time, so she does have one <laughs> bot building uh, skill, which is pretty cool. Guitar, she has a guitar somewhere over there. Um, yeah, so I've had so much fun playing with her too because she, I just, I love the gardening. I have a garden for her. I have, you get to turn the sprinklers on and then she goes out and she just, you know, gardens and she makes money that way. And also the stuff that she makes in the garden helps with potions, which helps with her career because she, summer festivals here. Cool. Um, I kind of have some of the seasons turned off because mm. I just, they go too quickly sometimes, so I've just been, I just like the summer and spring seasons, just, you know, for gardening purposes. Yeah, and this is our little house. I've been doing it like rags to riches style, so I haven't been built, like, I didn't do any cheats or anything. Everything that we bought was just, we earned it. Um, it's funny, these little gnomes keep popping up. And rather than deleting them, I kind of just like leaving them around, because... Trixie just seems like the type that like garden gnomes would come to her home and like Ooh. it's it's like pretty cute. This one keeps popping on and, and turning on the TV, popping in front of the TV and mm -hmm. watching TV, so it's pretty cute. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so she is doing Ooh. some gardening. Um, maybe we'll make some potions, put some potions up for sale, and yeah, I want to get them engaged to be murdered. I kind of want to do that in this video. I think that'd be kind of cute. Ooh. Alright, um, so I'm gonna skip ahead to when Trixie starts doing something more interesting, because right now she's kind of just gardening, so, um, alright, let's, uh, catch you, catch you later. Alright, so we have gardened, 
I forgot to mention yeah, some other stuff about Trixie. Um, she's got a lot of lifetime rewards since she's mastered her career, she's mastered a skill. You get a lot of points for that kind of stuff, so I'm just going to go over her uh, her lifetime rewards, stuff that she's gotten. Oh, cat. That's another thing. I want to get a pet, too. We need to have, like, a whole bunch of... Ooh, I just heard some thunder at my house. Um, I want to get a, an animal, too, because I think that'd be so cute to have just, like, everything, you know, and everything. Um, yeah, the sprinkler's got to be turned off soon. Come on. Um... <laughs> I'm um, sorry, I'm distracted easily. So she's dirt defiant, meaning her high heat hygiene skill goes down slower, which helps with the gardening skill. Are you guys going to turn off? Turn off. Turn off. Um, yeah, it doesn't, like, it, it still goes down, but, you know, not as fast, which is helpful. She's observant, which for some reason I decided to give her that. And I guess to me, Ken was like, you know, because he's kind of shy, so anyway. Uh, entre entrepreneurial mindset. So since part of her job, she sells the potions at a consignment store. Uh, this gives her more money when she does that. So it's just like more money. Uh, no pee pee, no poo poo. She doesn't have to eat that much, which I guess I thought was helpful for her career. She's like really career driven and skill building. So I, I, <laughs> I did that with her for a lot. So I kind of like neglected her needs, but you know. Hashtag sim stuff. And, and inappropriate. Uh, no. And I think I wanted mm. her and Ken to have Nookie at Ken's house. And in order for her to not get yelled at by him, I gave her that. Anyway, uh, so she can kind of do what she wants in other people's houses, <laughs> which is kind of, you know, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so she's painting. Also, um, she's also painted a few things around the house, which is super cool. Um, this, I don't, I think it looks kind of like a boat, a uh, boat with a map, a little, uh, you know, thing you put your eye through, telescope, I guess it's called, and I guess that's like a, I don't know. Anyway, oh, she's painting something now, and there's these, like, swirly thing, hmm. painting that she made. Um, is there any, uh, that picture was from when they went to the fair, tiny house that I, uh, that was a gift. There's, <laughs> I like this one, too, that she made, um... We could put a frame on it. Um, just, you know, she's so artsy, you know. Oh, jeez. So, yeah, so right now she's, oh, that's so cute. Aw. How artsy is this, this girl? A little sex. I just like putting her paintings up, too. Add some hominess. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so I want to do some potion work. Maybe get get crazy, throw some potions at people. She wants to do that. Um, I was kind of thinking maybe for their honeymoon they can go to France. I don't know. I'm just really got a lot of ideas. Um, create a skill booster. I wanted to finish this painting because I think that's going to be really cute. Um, another thing also that's pretty cool for house is that objects like to spawn that she can collect. Like bugs. There's a potion that uses bugs. There's a few potions that use bugs. And then I think there's even one that needs minerals as well. So let's so let's see what we got. Let's make some lithers. There's a cool snake right there, but I'm gonna let the snake be because we don't need a snake. All right, now we've got a lot of stuff. A lot of ingredients. I mean, not a, a lot of different potions that we know how to make, but we don't have all the stuff for stuff. Um, I know she wanted to make a skill booster, which we have. Yay! Create a skill booster. Reba Hitajo. <laughs> Oops. Yay! Now oh, she made two. Cool. Two skill boosters. Cool. Cool, cool. Also, I'm obsessed with picking up the seeds that always spawn over here. I have a problem. 
Because you never know, they could be like a money tree. You can't say no to a money tree. I mean, come on. Pick all these up. This is how I play Sims, literally. Um, Alright, so let's... Okay, we don't need to catch any more butterflies. Pick up, pick up. Ooh. Sometimes the flowers are expensive. I probably covered this in another video. Sometimes you'll pick up flowers, which could be a lot of money. Okay. Alright, so... Azaleas. I'm sure you want to sell the azaleas. Yeah, what do we do? Oh, cool! So we just got some sales from when we put up some potions in the shop. Uh, so we just sold twelve twenty. Me, I was charged only three dollars to whatever. Cool. People need their sleep flasks. All right. So now we're going to create a flask of angry bees, which I don't know how to do. We're not going to do that. Um, I need a sim to throw a thing at. Any sims in the area? Hi. Now another part of her lifetime was that she's going to. She's reached level 10 in the alchemy career, which is cool. She has to use 50 elixirs, which I'm like, ugh, so much. Yeah! Um, alright, girly, you're getting hit with a potion. Throw elixir at Justine. <laughs> you're gonna get way better. <laughs> Yay! <gasps> Hi, Wilborg! Hi! What are you doing here, guy? Who me? I think. Is my man's here? Is my man's here? Is my man's here? <laughs> I don't see my man's. Bradley. Uh, talk about gardening. Chunashtim, Jivik, Roar, Nakriyadi. Now I gotta pick up that seed will work. Meti, chumagi, mat. Oh, banana. Ah, Ah, Um, coolness. All right, so what are we gonna do now? I okay. So one thing I want to do is give her a makeover because if they're gonna get marred, I want her to be looking gorgeous, gorgeous. You know. I'm annoying. Ha! Let's go to the stylist. You could just like go home and visit the mirror, but I don't do that. Uh, really? Okay, so I'm just gonna make over myself. Alright, so we're gonna get her wedding ready. Not that she's engaged, but you never know. She might be. Ha ha ha! Ah, he's like that. And I'll be back. Alright, so we're back home. We got a fancy outfit. It's almost as if we went to David's Bridals or we went to, um, you know, we said yes to the dress, even though the man didn't pop the question yet. But you know what? It's fine. It's not weird to do that. It's not weird at all. I don't have my wedding dress picked out already. What? No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, so, um, let's let uh, Trixie relax for the evening and I think we're gonna pop back over to Ken and we're gonna see if this little lady wants to move in. Alright, so I've kind of gone ahead and cheated a little bit. Not like cheated, but, you know. Uh, I had Trixie move in to the household. Um, she's hanging out at Wilburg. It's the morning, Sunday morning. Um, I did, um, I did a few things. I adjusted the lab a little bit. Um, kind of made it look a little bit more normal. I put some pictures in there, like the painting. I like this in here, so that's why if, like, Ken's working, he could be like, oh, this is why I'm doing it, you know, me and me and Trixie's life together, blah, blah, blah. you know. Um, put some stuff in here, like counters. I thought that was, cabinet kind of looked cool. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I have a, um, Ken still sleep. Um, I put the alchemy table in here. I might, I don't know, I kind of want to, like, give her her own, like, alchemy room. Not just, like, the bedroom, because, you know, he's got a lab to work on, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I also just put some paint, put, like, a painting around. Got a lot of stuff to just unpack a little bit. Put some stuff 
the books away. Um, I would like for these guys to be buddies. So she's gonna use the jar of friendship. Oh, you can't use it on a robot, I guess. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> um, back to unpacking, and I think we'll get a garden set up. That way. Let's see. Cute little, uh, cute little box. Stick the guitar somewhere. Make this house a home. Where are we gonna put this one at? This is a pretty one. Put that by. Oh, I forgot to get her high school diploma. Eh, whatever. Um, cool, 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 cool. Oh. Now, this is a long video, <laughs> uh, but I'm I'm for it. Um, I guess. I think it'd be kind of nice to start the garden off over here. Let's just do that, I guess. Okay. 